Hello friends, this video on integers part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So they then came up these integers. So integers are a set of numbers which include the positive numbers plus negative numbers plus zero. So basically it includes all the whole numbers along with the negative numbers. So all of them together are called integers. So to sum it up, we mean that now when we talk about integers, we talk about all the natural numbers like 1 to infinity. We also talk about the zero. That way we include all the whole numbers and at the same time we also include all the negative numbers. So when we represent all of these on a line which makes the number line, so this is how it looks. You have zero at the center. On the right side you have all the series of positive numbers. On the left side of zero you have all the negative numbers. So this is how the entire arrangement of integers look like. So this means that integers include them all. The natural numbers, they are included within integers. So you see, these are the natural numbers. When you add zero with the natural numbers, what do you get? All that is enclosed within the green shield, that is whole numbers. Now when you include the whole numbers plus the negative numbers, then you get all that is included within the red shield, that is the integers. So integers include the whole numbers, natural numbers, negative numbers, all of them together make the integers. So natural numbers, whole numbers, negative numbers, they are all part of integers. Now, where, how do we locate integers on a number line? So as I said, that as long as we knew only about natural numbers or whole numbers, this is how our number line looked like. So it started with zero and then it moved on till infinity. Now that we also know the negative numbers, it becomes something like this, where we have the negative numbers on the left hand side of zero. So this, this is how the integers look on a number line. So how do we locate different integers on a number line? So if you are looking for a positive integer, then you should definitely move towards the right of zero. For example, if you are looking for plus three, then you need to move right of zero and take three jumps like one, two, three. And that's, where, that's how you reach three. Now, let's say that if you want to reach uh, a negative integer, then you definitely need to move towards the left, like minus three would be on the left of zero. So depending on whether you need a positive or negative integer, you need to make your jumps in the respective directions. Now the question comes is how do we compare integers? Now earlier we only had positive numbers. So things were pretty simple. We knew that okay uh, if a number is with three digit, a three digit number will always be greater than a two digit number. Right? So, so we knew things and it was pretty much simple. Now that we have both negative and positive numbers, so the comparison might become a little difficult. Though I will not make it difficult for you, but it might sound a little difficult. That is comparing minus 16 with plus 6, which would be greater. Or comparing minus 16 with minus 100, which would be greater. So, you know, when you have this negative sign into place, uh, will things become more complex? Let's find that out. So let us look at some examples first. So you have 10 and 18. If I ask you which is bigger, 10 or 18? Now very quickly I am sure you would answer that 18 is bigger than 10. So this would be a pretty simple question for you to answer. Which is bigger, 10 or 18? So obviously you would say 18 is bigger than 10. Now when you look at the number line. So let us make a rough number line where you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Now we are only focusing on the positive numbers because both 10 and 18 are positive. So let's say you have 10 somewhere here and then you have 18 somewhere here. So we are not plotting all the numbers till 18. So when you look at this, you see 10 comes here and 18 lies all the more on the right of 10. So very clearly looking at the number line also we can say that okay 18 is greater than 10. Now things turn a little different when you have one positive number and the other negative number. For example if you have to decide amongst minus 35 and plus 31 which is bigger. So how would you decide in that case because one is negative and the other one is positive. 
Now again, let us focus on the number line. Now one important thing is that all the positive numbers. Now gradually, have you seen one thing that as you move towards the right on the number line, what happens? The values increase like 7 is greater than 2, 18 is greater than 7, right? So as you keep moving towards right, the values keep increasing. Now this is true not only for the positive integer, this is true for the entire number line. So on a number line, the moment you move towards right, your values keep increasing. Now, when you look on the negative number side, what happens here in this case, as you move towards right, you are actually moving towards numbers like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. And these numbers are greater than numbers like minus 99 or minus 100 because they are located towards this side. So now, when you look at the negative number line, you can see that you have numbers placed like this so minus 10 and minus 2 if you try to compare these two which is bigger so minus 2 is bigger because minus 2 is located on the right of minus 10 and as you move towards right the value increases right so basically if you now focus only on the negative numbers you see that in case of negative numbers if you compare minus 10 and minus 2 even though 10 is bigger than 2, but minus 10 is smaller than minus 2. So the moment you put minus sign, their values, I mean, the relationship between the two integers completely reverses. So in this case, one number is negative, the other number is positive. Now quite obvious, all the positive numbers are located on the right side of the negative numbers. Therefore, all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. So in this case, also 31 will be greater than minus 35. Let's look at this example. Here you have 103 or minus 108. So again, in this case, the positive number would be greater than the negative number as I discussed. Now let us try to understand the comparison between two negative numbers, minus 35 and minus 31. Which one is greater? So as such, if you forget about the negative sign, then 35 is greater than 31. But the moment we put negative sign to both the numbers, the relationship becomes opposite. So we say that minus 35 is smaller than minus 31. But why? So I have already proved that using number line that on a number line anything that is on the right is greater. So minus 31 is on the right of minus 35 so it is greater. Now let us take an, a real life example and try to understand why minus 35 is smaller than minus 31. Now let's take the example of temperature. So let's say that you have gone to a hill station which is very cold and moreover it is winter season peak winters. So with each passing day, the temperature is dropping further. So initially, the temperature was around 10 degrees Celsius. After a couple of days, it dropped to 0 degree, then to minus 5 degree, minus 10 degree. And finally, it dropped to as low as minus 31 degree Celsius. Now, what is happening? Now, as the temperature is dropping further, so the decrease is more, right? So what is happening? So as it decreased to minus 31, when it further decreased, it became minus 35. That means minus 35 is smaller than minus 31. Logically, also it is smaller, right? So please do not keep this confusion in your head that 35 is greater than 31. That's fine. That's because both of them are positive numbers. So we are only bothered about their values. But the moment you put a negative sign to them, the relationship becomes just the opposite. So minus 31 becomes greater than minus 35. So when you place it on a number line, very simple thing that you need to remember is as you move towards right, you move towards bigger number. That is the only thing you need to remember. So whenever you are comparing a positive number and a negative number, the positive number would be greater. If you are comparing two negative numbers or two positive numbers, just follow this rule. Going towards right would mean a bigger number. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.